What is up everyone? My name is Drew and I own a handyman business based out of Ohio. And the majority of my work, 50, probably 50% of it is drywall repair and painting and what you guys in the industry would call repaints. Uh, no new construction, not yet at least. But this is a little unloading video, this pretty bag that I think I've been using for about roughly seven months some of the different tools that I acquired. And first off, um, I have a four, or I'm sorry, two to four foot extension pole, Purdy. Let's get this out of the way. And also, before I forget, I have a Sherlock one um, by Wooster, and uh, it's a four to eight foot pole. And it's sat this way so I can show you guys. I love this uh, little bag here for wet brushes. It says roller pouch too, but I've never used that. Um, comes in very handy. Uh, I got some Grime Boss um, wipes that I try to keep in the front of it. But you got almost an empty roll of tape. That's why that's there. Or a bunch of these if I'm painting cabinets or if I'm doing like a remodel on a bathroom. And here I just started putting, let's see if you can see that, different tape in there. Got a pen, of course. Probably should have some business cards in there too, but I don't. Some of the questions that I had on the original review of buying the bag, a lot of people have asked what the Velcro on the front is for. I guess it's if you have like a patch or you have a thing that you could stick your business cards in here and sit on there if you have the other side of the Velcro. So the first compartment here, Again, don't really care for this uh, as much. Uh, I'm surprised it started rusting the first day I got it. <laughs> you gotta clean the things right away, that's for sure. Uh, just got, recently got this. This is the, the stainless, less prone to rust. This is great, you needed a small one. I love the compartments in here. And actually, this is the cheapest one I got from Harbor Freight. And it's probably my favorite, or go-to, I would say. Of course, the first five-in-one or six-in-one or whatever, these are invaluable. And especially if you're pulling off trim or anything, or if you're doing a remodel. Got this recently, and look, already rusting. And that was cleaned right away, too. Of course, Got the Purdy five and one or whatever you want to call it, but it's it's real nice for that reason. But I would uh, definitely suggest keeping a flat head for slotted screws or also a uh, Phillips. This I don't use too much, other than the clean stuff. get this all back in here I do kind of have a dedicated um, primer brush and it'll probably go on to be my dusting brush and I'll probably get another one they're cheap I mean, these very underrated um, much better than the other shortcut ones uh, they're they're worth it, that's for sure. Got an empty the paintbrush cover. These are invaluable, game changer. I have a someone threw out the cover, not myself. 
So I'll just stick it in there. And this was a brush I started out with maybe two years ago. Almost got, the cover almost got thrown out. Just got this Wooster. And to be honest with you, I didn't really care for this, but maybe it was just the paint that I was putting on. Keep Phillips in there. I need to throw a flathead in there. Yeah, I don't have anything crazy as far as a bunch of brushes, but maybe one day, but I try to use them and wash them as regularly as I can. But I also want to get at least two years, if not longer, out of them. I actually need to kind of replenish everything. Got these. Love these, especially for ceilings. I just, if I'm repainting the walls and I'm and I'm doing the ceiling, I'll do the ceiling first and I'll just shove this in the corner instead of using a brush or dirtying up a brush. I'll just go all the way around. I usually get the, I think they're called dovetails or dove from uh, the pretty ones, but I'll get them from Menards because for some reason they're cheaper. I don't know why. I think uh, the old SW would have stuff even cheaper and that's with your you know discount got one of these kind of all i need unless i'm doing multiple colors i need more i keep my empty bags because you never know got another one in here i have this little battery keep the charge up in there don't try to really answer my phone if I'm at a client's house, but sometimes you have to. This thing's all boogered up, whiz, thing works great. I have a, another one, another nine inch roller. I don't know that I'll ever move up. I think, the, what did they just come out with, the 14 or something? I don't even know if I'd even use the 18. It'd be quicker, yes, that's for sure great love it goes right onto the handle of the extension pole and they have a slot right here for it um, but even when i throw it in one of those paint covers i'll throw it in here that way to just keep everything separated. And obviously it's right on the front of the bag so you don't have to open everything up. Nothing too crazy. Um, I wanted to show you guys this kind of loaded down. And if, you know, if you have your extension pole in there, you can, uh, you know, kind of slide your 3M hand masker into that as well. But, I keep two different totes and they're almost, I think they have a seal around them. I think they're Sterilite is the brand, nothing crazy. And one is for drywall and then one is for uh, painting. But I, of course, I usually have both of them, them with me. But what I'll do is if I'm waiting for some paint to dry and I'm gonna go get lunch or get a sandwich or something, I'll take everything out of that tote that's four and has a seal around it. And I'll put my paint tray in there um and seal it up and i've never had a problem with anything drying out but i'll still go ahead and throw my roller and obviously the cover that's on it into the paint cover but that's a little tip that has served me very well um and both of the totes are the same so i'm gonna have some more videos of uh my tools in the toolboxes and tool bags and stuff you know, again, it's a handyman business, so I'm not just painting all the time. There's sometimes I'll have, you know, I'll have one bag that's dedicated to like plumbing. And then I'll have one that's kind of my remodel or kind of demo of the remodel, but it's kind of a kind of a catch-all for all of the tools that I would pretty much take anywhere with me. Uh, 
you know, a good a good thing would get a, like a multi-tool sc screwdriver for this. A lot of times I'll have my drill to get uh, the face, the the cover plates or face plates or whatever you want to call them, take them off. Uh, but there it is, guys. I appreciate everybody that watches. If you uh, if you think I earned it, uh, please hit that like and subscribe, and I, I do appreciate it. Thanks again.